while I explain the situation to those who fail to understand. You may have already heard of me or even seen me troll a few people on Twitter. I'm Akumu. Uh, you can call me Madam's White Knight if it keeps that fragile mind of yours, you know, working, kicking properly to at least get through this video. But uh, I'm literally attacking both of them. Before you start disliking the video and you start commenting troll or whatever you're going to comment, or telling me that I'm defending Madam, even though I'm not even actually defending Madam. I'm just giving you the facts. There's nothing that can excuse for her attempting to dox her, but I am going to tell you why. There's a lot that's happened, and you should be aware of what's actually happened, and the truth of the entire situation, and not just one side of the story. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're watching and you're watching this video, hi stranger. Recently, there was some drama between a commentary YouTuber, Madam, and a furry artist named Slimmers. 90% of the videos out there so far that cover this topic are doing it wrong. However, there are some amazing points. Uh, Nani made some good points. Hopeless Peaches made some fantastic points. Most of them kind of, you know, they have a general idea of the points they make because they take the same, they take a moral and ethical standpoint, and they kind of toss logic out the window, you know, you know, because logic isn't, you know, the uh, basic understanding and basic common sense that we should have. Mm, okay. But they have some good points, but uh, not all of them address the actual issue. Instead, they victimize one side and make the other look... I mean, the other is pretty bad. Both of them are bad. Both of them have to learn from their mistakes. But at the same time, just because one's a public figure and just because one is four years older does not mean that you entirely ignore... Just because one of them is 15 and is a sexual assault victim doesn't mean you ignore them. And the issue, like I said, is they take a moral and ethical standpoint than properly logical, which is why all of you are attacking Madam and still are attacking Madam. So before, we, so before we dive in, I'm going to properly explain this. There's a side of the story, and it, this side of the story is really what's ev what everyone's trying to ignore. That's why everyone is saying they're not going to watch the video or they're just going to click on it to report it. You're trying to silence the truth, and I'm not, I'm not going to put up with that. Now, I'm going to explain art theft, referencing, and tracing. So, say if you have an image in memory or on your phone, and you take the effort of redrawing that image. Not tracing it, but literally drawing the image onto paper. That's your work. Sure, it was clearly already done, but you did it again on paper. That's a great skill to get down. Many artists need references, and I use references sometimes, and it helps hone your craft, especially if you made those references. Now, if you just trace the image for the sake of taking credit, as in literally put it on the paper, or you even trace it in an art program, you're taking the credit, it's obvious, there's a huge difference between tracing and redrawing an image, because when you redraw something, you put something into it. You put some work into it. You put your own hard work, and kind of, even though you don't really notice it, you do put your own, I guess you could say, art style and way of, of art into it. It's, it's not art theft, but you are stealing the credit. So if you say you did this image, even though you clearly traced it, it's, you're, you're not stealing the art, but you're taking the credit. As it was, it, was, it was just copied, really. Now, when you download an image and you say you drew it, that's credit theft. Unless, of course, you give credit to the original person. Why? Because, because something has to be lost for it to be theft, period. The whole concept of downloading an image and using it makes everyone an art thief that has ever downloaded an image and used it. Even if they don't take credit. Even if they don't put credit, which means 90% of the roleplay community, probably more than that, are art thieves when it comes to OCs. Even though they didn't take anything, unless they took the credit. So you're not only marginalizing, but saying that people are art thieves when they aren't actually. For example, here's the definition of theft, stole, and steal. Theft requires you to take something. For example, if someone commits theft by stealing your car, you no longer have your car until it's returned. If someone has eaten your food or taken it, you own it, but you no longer have it. This is basic common sense, and I shouldn't actually have to explain this, but I do because some people in this world have none. So please keep that in mind while I continue. So what happened originally, before the interview with Nani, was Slimmers was a fan of Madam. She did fan art, this fan art here. Madam reached out to her wanting work, as seen here. She didn't have PayPal because she was a minor. However, she did not tell Madam she was a minor at this time. But, when I go to message an artist that is underage, and as you can see, they're when I questioned them about PayPal, I asked if, they if I could pay them for their work using PayPal. If 
they told me they didn't have PayPal, and why? Because they were a minor. So please tell me, Silmers, why you did not tell Madam you were a minor. Hmm? I mean, you clearly don't have an issue with it now. You have it in your bios. So why didn't, I mean, you have it in your bios now, so why didn't you have it then? Madam suggested giving credit for her work and a possible vocal shout out in a video for crediting her. So Mars wanted both, and the two agreed into the terms. This is when an instrument was uploaded, including her still in the thumbnail. So far, we have no evidence pointing to Madam not giving credit intentionally. However, we do have some evidence pointing to it being an accident. So Mars commented on the video publicly addressing the issue, instead of uh, contacting Madam when she had her private Discord, as I'll reveal later, and uh, apparently had her phone number, and they obviously had previously spoken in the DMs of Instagram. Why? Well, her excuse was, she wasn't thinking clearly at the time. Here's the conversation clips of the DMs. So I saw her, how I shit that a hospital video, and it was like an hour long, and it seemed serious, and I was like, oh no, this poor girl. I felt, I felt really bad, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna draw fan art for her. And I drew fan art for her. Um, I'll show you my first fan art, if I could pull it up. Okay, this was my first fan art I drew for her. It was very quick, I won't deny, because I was still... Whenever I draw a character, I draw them in multiple styles inconsistently because I don't know what style I'm comfortable with. I just experience experiment a lot. So I drew that for her. For like, hey, you know, we feel better. And then she was like, oh my god, I loved it. She posted on her story on Instagram. She shared it all over the place. She loved it. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm so happy that you really liked it and stuff like that. I drew her another one because I was like, yeah, I'm making someone happy. I like that. I like making people happy. So I drew her another one. She loved, she adored that one the most. And she put it in the profile picture again. She put it as a YouTube banner in the back. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And then she contacted me on Instagram. I think I still have the screenshots of her asking to contact me on Instagram. I said screaming, she, cause that was when she was complimenting my stuff. And I was like screaming, you deserve 100% of the content you make. You seem like such a cool ass person. And she was just like, hey, do you have commissions open? I love how you drew me. And I was wondering if you'd be down to to make a few stills with different expressions and stuff. I love your stuff for the videos. I'm still gonna use gameplay, but officially I'd love to express myself with your art. I am K, your price is if you're open for that. And I said, I don't have a PayPal sadly, but I don't mind drawing you since you're, I'm a big fan of yours. I started to be a big fan. I thought her content was decent. It was decent to say the least, but I was like, I, don't, I mean, like, I don't mind drawing for her. She seems very nice and she went through so much. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah. I appreciate that so much, but I feel bad if I didn't do something back for you. Can I plug your Instagram in the video? And so now you know that she made a deal. It's not like a... Anyone else notice that? Oh, yeah, Slumber's changed her story. She even told Madam she was a big fan right here. Yet she says she was literally just introduced to Madam by her hospital video and supposedly had felt bad and decided to make fan art. Which leads to the DMs. Here's the rather long segment of her explaining her experience with screenshots of the interaction after she commented on the YouTube video. I expected. So she said, okay, firstly, you should DM me by off the chance I stopped reading YouTube comments, then I would have never seen it. I'm gonna give just give credit instead of a verbal shout out. Whatever prefers is fine by me. Also, what's strange is that you respond to the thumbnail here, but then just now asked me to do this, but okay. I don't know why she found that strange. I mean, I ha I've just been waiting for her to, to give me, you know, uh, credit. And I don't know why she's saying it just now. Yeah, I'm saying it just now because I did wait for you. I gave you a chance to wait. So she's so like, just now asked me to do this, but okay, take your credit. The shout out then, lol. I wanted to pay you anyway. Shout out slash credit was because you didn't have a PayPal. No one credits their commission unless it's free complimentary by the artist i have mixed feelings about that that no there's no mixed feelings about that like you always credit your artist i don't care if you paid them a thousand dollars you always credit your artist <laughs> unless they say otherwise unless you know you talk to your artist and be like hey i'm not going to credit you because blah 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 i don't know why you wouldn't like at least in the description i'm not saying go subscribe to my little pony gamer 92 for drawing my thumbnail today or something but in the very least the pinned comment or the description like geez. Mm -hmm. especially if it was free yeah i was like so she, it, it's just like weird that she said that and she was like the way she said take your credit f the shout out i guess i was like um she's 
is she angry or she's like upset but this sounded like anger than upset like i i didn't think one comma would make her this angry so i said she's like that of course credit which was the plan but okay i got you and i said i mean credit in the description of your videos then she said yeah that's the plan i said i got you boom done just dm me because i stopped reading the comments after 48 hours so i was like thank you that's all i wanted not hating but it was just a thing i would like smiley face not angry just letting you know she said yeah of course but it's kind of whack you wouldn't just dm me after we've had phone calls and stuff yeesh by off chance i stopped reading comments like this and she's just repeating herself i was like Ooh. she's like what do you expect had this been com wait has this been commented a day later i would have seen it which is weird that she says that now i, I commented that like that was okay that was 11 25 the time i commented that was five minutes ago so that means it i commented that in like 11 20. that's just something that the public opinion can like decide if that's true from me or not because again i don't have proof but that is something i do remember she said yeah of course it's kind of whack blah 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 and then she's like what do you expect had this been coming to the day later i wouldn't have seen it i just got weirded out you would just tell me directly but error iller <laughs> but I, I understand like her saying that part. I was like, that part is understandable. I should I know it was weird that I didn't tell you her directly, even though I have her Discord. I, I even if it take her a while to, to reply back, I should have deemed her. She said she was what Luke Luke. Well, I, I can't say that. She was Luke. What's the artist name? I literally, I'm not joking. That's what it says in her. And the, so she was just like, blah, 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 credit. She's like, I knew that video would be big and just, I don't know, plug your Insta, but I see that the credit description and about me is more beneficial uh, because it's long term. So I will add you right now. Also, my friend who's a SDJ, yeah, an SD Greamer, <laughs> wanted to commission, commission, like, oh my God, there's typos. I'm not even joking. A streamer that wants to commission from you i didn't tell her you didn't have a payback by the way she was like that was the artist's name so i sent her away just to, to zoop duke on instagram if you ever open a paypal hit her up and i was just like so i replied it's okay i understand i was just upset at the moment sure it was messed up i didn't dm you but i'm sorry sorry for that that was sucky of me i clearly apologized and said that was sucky of me and i'm sorry and then she goes again say yeah kind of shit consider we have phone calls and she's repeating herself this is like the third time she repeated herself and she's like yeah kind of shit considering we've had phone calls and most youtubers stop reading comments most youtubers stop reading comments after the upload but okay luckily i checked today lol she was really aggressive and like i was like i'm sorry and then she's like yeah but still it was kind of shit like she kept repeating herself and i'm like i'm sorry like <laughs> But yeah, all good. Here you go. And then she credit me. And she's like, and don't worry about the f about future uploads. I don't think I'll forget to add you again. If I use the art for thumbnails, I'll be mindful. And I'm like, okay, Ashley. And I said, I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just wanted credit in the description. That's all. You don't have to credit me every single video, which I mean, she doesn't have to credit me. What I mean by she doesn't have to credit me every single video, I mean by... She doesn't have to credit me even with the thumbnail not being there. So that is also my fault. That's another mistake I did. That's my fault for not being specific there. I said only the ones where you use my thumbnails. Okay, I was kind of being specific. Only the ones where you use my thumbnails. I should have mentioned it first in the call. Because I'm like, I, maybe I didn't mention it in the call. That's why I said it. I was like, maybe I didn't mention it in the call properly. That's why I said I should have mentioned it first in the call. And I'm sorry. I said in the comments, I was very upset. But I do not want to argue at all. I'm not even angry at you. It was just a mistake I should have mentioned beforehand. But I'm telling you now. And I, I'll delete the comment. So that's why I delete the comment at that moment. And at that moment, I was just like, oh, well, you know, maybe like... I said, I got you with the credit. Haha. <laughs> you don't got to do anything. It's fine. I thought we agreed on some videos. Some video shout out. I forgot, but it was viral. But she's like saying like about the... She's not saying making one video about the shadow. She said she was gonna, it was gonna be like her talking about another situation, and I'll eventually be in the video as a shout out. So she said, but I see the issue with that. It won't be long term. 
so I will be sure to ha always have credit. And I said, I should have told you the thumbnail thing. I'm really sorry, Ashley. And she's like, plus, I mean, common sense if I use it for the thumbnail, right? I just forgot this time. So she mentioned that she forgot. Most that are attacking Madam and defending Slimmer seem to think Madam never gave credit. That it's not entirely accurate. Here are Madam's screenshots, along with Slimmer's, that shows evidence that she initially, initially, when the issue first occurred, fixed it. Here we can clearly see the artist is happy now. Soon after this incident, many began to literally insult and attack Madam. Why? Because Slimmer's decided to vent on Instagram. This isn't the first time someone has vented about an issue and mobs form into cancel culture. This was the critical mistake Slimmer's made, which led to Madam being attacked removing her credit, and soon resulted in Madam attempting to dox her. Luckily, the number was fake. Now, Madam knew this, as she said this in her story, so I don't see that as technically, I mean, you can say it was an attempt at dox. Sure, it was wrong, and even attempting to do so, let alone leaking it, still does, uh, is, it isn't professional, it is immature, but it's not actually doxing. This is around the time that Madam found out that Slimmers was 15 although she pretended to be someone of age and even said she was going to college. This is coming from Madam's side of the story, but Slimmers has not claimed it to be untrue. I asked for evidence to prove this wrong, and she has provided none. Nani merely tried to push it off as if it wasn't a big deal, when if you look at all the things pieced together, it could be. It is not okay to act like this. Especially, it's not okay to act like this when you're trying to convince an audience, let alone multiple audiences, and let alone a mob of people, that you're innocent or that someone else is lying. They're, can, they're coming there to ask questions, and you're telling them to kill themselves, not answering any of them, not asking what they are, not trying to alleviate the confusion, or anything. And you only brought two screenshots into your video, so it's hard to really find anything that's usable, credible, anything. The only thing that so far that's credible is the two screenshots so far. However, if we do take something from there, there is something that could be credible. No. Was it right for Madame to leak her phone number? Absolutely not. I am aware that some seem to think that Madame didn't know her age at the time, but she did. However, age doesn't exactly matter. Of course, in a legal standpoint, it does, but the principle is to never dox anyone. It doesn't matter if the number's fake, it doesn't matter how old they are, or how professional or unprofessional they seem to be. However, with the screenshots I have available to you all, this might explain why Madam Doxter. Example screenshot A. Here it says directly, I don't know what else is worse. Art theft or pressuring. I saw her comment reply. I don't think attacking won't make her listen, but there's nothing else we can do but that. So you guys can comment, I don't mind, but what she's doing is not allowed. Here she's giving permission for cancel culture to attack Madam, which then led to the dox. Am I saying Madam shouldn't go unpunished over doxing? No, absolutely not. What I am saying, what the purpose of this video is saying, what, the, what it is is to point out Slomars is not as innocent as you all like to put it. When two cars collide, they cause damage to one another. Damage happens to both. When two people do something wrong, they both face consequences. Two wrongs don't make a right, ZZ. You're 22 and apparently don't know this. Yet you tell me to pay attention to school. So here's the timeline. Slimmers makes fan art, although she changed her story. Let's go with the one she told Nani, which furthers our point. Madam contacts her wanting to do business and ask prices. Slimmers replies that she doesn't have PayPal, but didn't tell her why. They work out the arrangement consisting of credit in the description, and at some point, a vocal shout-out. This was not a legal agreement. Madam posts her first video. Slimmers then comments in the YouTube section, asking for credit instead of contacting her through her phone number, private Discord, or even Instagram. After some time, Slimmers vents about it, and then Madam sees the comment. Which leads us here, where Madam initially fixed the credit and even shows Slimmer. Where Madam initially fixed the credit and even shows Slimmer's. However, she had it blurred in her video to be an asset. Slimmer's did provide this right here, and she even said this in Nani's video. But if you go through her stories, talking about the issue, as I have, uh, I had to use an alt. But if you go through her stories, telling these people what happened, she does not bring up the fact that Madam initially fixed it. Why didn't you bring that up? Maybe that would have not led to the mob, and maybe some kind of arrangement could have talked out. But instead, no, you don't mention it. I kind of feel like you did that on purpose. Considering any time someone is labeled an art thief in the art community, mobs appear. Slimmers mentions nothing of the missing credit as well, besides the fact that we have something that confirms this, so we can take that as she corrected it. 
Because Slamers had vented, people started to attack Madam, which led to the removal of credit, and Madam being an ass, and attempting to dox her. As previously, we went over how she condoned cancel culture. Anyone who condones it, anyone who condones it, why? First off, that's my question. Why would you condone it at all? There's a lot of things that have been destroyed. A lot of people's lives, careers, and more that have been destroyed. And just because sometimes, even be just because, even if there's no evidence, they're destroyed. For example, Vic Mignogna, even though that has nothing to do with the situation, that is a very good example. This situation has evidence, but it only has evidence pointing to one side because no one wants to point out the evidence pointing to the other. Now, I'm aware people are going to reply with, you shouldn't have a platform or, or anything along the lines of platform. I know that there's going to be some kind of someone that types clown emojis. But this is the truth, folks. Just like the video all you want, but sometimes the truth hurts. Now, why would I make this video? Because Samar's made mistakes, yet just because she's been revealed to be 15 and her dad decided to be inappropriate, people are literally treating her like she's done nothing wrong. Immediately forgiving her. Madam deserves what she got. She crossed the line with attempting to dox her in general. Now, should it be this severe? Obviously not. But if it's going to be this severe, why is it not at all any severe on the other side? However, if you're really going to take a moral standpoint, then how is it okay to victimize one side, then clearly, when, when clearly the other side made mistakes? How is that okay? Just because she's underage? Are you joking? How can you allow someone to condone cancel culture because, what, she was sexually assaulted? Get out of here. A sexual assault is not a pass to continuously make mistakes. It's not. It's not a, a, it's not a pass to make any mistakes. But these people, these people are just literally delusional. For example, this guy says he's seen my art, yet I have never posted any of my artwork online publicly. Not publicly. I've sent it to family members. I've done commissions for people in real life. This is one of the reasons I don't post online. Something else I found rather comedic is when artists scream art theft or art thieves, even though in this case it's not art theft. Now, why do I find it funny? Two reasons. It's funny because people who usually scream art thieves or art theft literally have public Instagrams, DeviantArts, or sites that have their art on it. Seriously, you can't yell art thief but be posting your art on a super highway of data called the internet. That would be like unlocking your doors in your house and then complaining when someone breaks in and takes something. And you know what this is all over? No. Second, Silmers most likely doesn't have a copyright. Her parents would have to pay for that. Considering she doesn't have a legal business either, she most likely does not, and she hasn't mentioned it. If she had first posted her work to YouTube, DeviantArt, or even Amino that provides you an intellectual property rights to that image posted on there, this could be different. And you know what this is all over, really? Some, some credit. That's it. Even though everyone knows by now that Slimerd made that, made those stills, made the art, Madam still refuses. And I mean, the, Jesus Christ, you people. You're attacking her still after a week. And uh, another video is being made. <laughs> this guy made a video. Yet no one's telling him that he's prolonging the drama. You want to know why no one's telling him that? Because his video is against Madam. His video is his experience with Madam. His somewhat bad experience with Madam. It's against Madam, so it's totally okay. But you're prolonging the drama if it's against Slimmers. I'm pretty sure so far I'm the first one to make this kind of video. And you people are just still trying to cancel culture her over that. Still trying to cancel her. But then can't even even the scale. I have seen nothing but me and very, maybe 13 people bring something up about Slimmers. Because supposedly, this is, this is how the situation is supposed to be. So until she confesses her mistakes and gets the backlash she deserves, or if both sides calm down, okay, if no one, if everyone quit attacking Madam, then this could all end. But no, people are still going to attack Madam, and this is going to continue to happen. So if you're going to continue to attack Madam, by your own logic, with this evidence, you should also be attacking Slimmers. However, you don't. You want to know why? Because double standards. Now, people will ask, what gives me the right to do this? What gives me the right to punish her? What, so, see, what gives you all the right to punish Madam? If I can't punish the large, what gives you, why, what gives you all the rights to, to punish Madam? What gives you the rights as human beings to attack someone, but when I do it, it's wrong? That's not how this works. It, it's wrong both ways, or it's right both ways. 
So if you're going to have the right to do it, so do I. You can't just say, oh, she did it to herself because Samurs had a part to play in this too. It's funny too because people are saying I'm obsessive and insane. Why? Because I'm doing something they don't like. Yet when I call them the same, I'm in the wrong. When I do the same, I'm in the wrong. Why? Because these people are pathetic and don't like it. They don't want the truth out. Side note, it is rather upsetting Mad Libs won't be making a response. I wonder what she has to say. She's blocked me. I didn't lie about Slimers, nor have I lied about her in general. Uh, I never claimed to have her number. I said I had her county in court case, which was provided by, o which was provided by OMJ, OMG, IJ, however, or James. He provided it in his YouTube video. So if you agree with doing the right thing for justice, if you believe that all justice should be served, if you believe that the truth, not just fragments of the truth, but the entire truth should be gapped, you'll support me. You'll like this video. You won't continue this. You won't deny the truth. You'll accept it. Because we all know a shitstorm's coming my way. I know for a fact I'm going to get a crap hate for this. I know for a fact, even if I post a future video that has nothing to do with this, it's going to be affected by this because that is how pathetic people are in this world. Now, anyways, you all, take care. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, too. My Instagram and Twitter are linked down below. So I messaged OMGIJ252, the YouTuber, on Twitter, and we were talking about the situation with Silmars and Madam, and I let him know of the evidence that I found. He responds with, okay, I'm going to try not to be biased, but listen. Claire was a fan of Madam. She told me herself she's a fan, and after watching her hospital video, she drew fan art. She did not tell Madam the correct age. She did it because... Regardless of Ashley being one of Claire's favorite YouTubers, she didn't want to give a stranger her age on the internet. She did later on tell Ashley the truth, though. Slimers didn't have a PayPal because she doesn't have a bank account to store her PayPal money to, which we onto, which we know. Claire brought up her uh, assault story because Madam said she faked it. You think Claire should be punished for faking her age and condoning cancel culture, but you dig through a private case all because you want to prove a point. I don't know how anyone else would feel, but to me that's honestly really stupid. Then he sends another message saying, Claire also told me that Madam did eventually credit her for a short period of time, but after the situation escalated, it was removed. All I'm going to say at this point is that going through her case is wrong, and her entire case is her business. She may have shared it to various YouTubers, but she only showed us to prove a point, not for anyone to scroll through her private records and stuff. So you're telling me that someone underage is going to tell a stranger on the internet, let alone with a following, let alone known to occasionally be toxic, I mean, she's a uh, leafy rebrand, or a leafy clone, if you will. She's going to tell that person her sexual assault story in two weeks of knowing them, but she can't tell them that she's 15. Well, how does that make any sense? Now, if you ha he's not providing any evidence, so I have nothing but his word on this that she told her, but I, have, I am trying to contact Madam, as I already have spoken with her once, I'm trying to contact with her again, to see if she can provide me with evidence that she didn't tell her age. Now, I don't know where people got off with this. Like I said, if you watch the, the intro, I mean, obviously, if you're watching the video, you see the intro. People are saying I've doxed her. I, I don't know where people got off with that. But honestly, this, this makes it so much worse for Claire or Slimmers. It, 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 I mean... The fact that you never mentioned in your video that Madam, even though you, it says right here, Claire also told me that Madam did eventually credit her for a short period of time, but after the situation had escalated, it was removed. The fact that you didn't even mention the fact that Madam corrected it and then removed it because of the cancel culture, and every other YouTuber never mentions this, except for in Nani's video, after the drama had already gotten to the point of doxing, it just shows that she... She didn't care, let alone, nor did you care about telling that information. Because if that information was out there, the, the drama might be less. It might, be, might, might have been lessened. Slimmers may have not have, it would have gone to this point to where I've had to look into the case. You made, you, you made it so much worse, dude. You made it so much worse. I, I can't. I, I just can't. Whatever.
I just wanted to uh, update you guys before the video had ended uh, entirely. But anyways, I'm going to go. Ah, <laughs> 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 that's all, folks.